Hi, I'm Mimi, and this is Giraffe. Hello. And Pig. Hey. And today, we're gonna learn about conditionals. What? I thought this was Sesame Street. No, this show is about coding for the computer. But uh, I don't even own a computer. That's okay, all you need is some paper and a pencil, and you can follow along. Well, I know the word conditionals. Like, I'm allowed to play video games on the condition that I do my homework first. That's right, that's a conditional statement. Huh. So if you do your homework, that's the condition, then you get to play video games. Uh -huh. What are those curly things? Those are braces or curly brackets. Oh. Do you see anything else that's a weird symbol in the code? Mm, looks like parentheses to me. Very good. So the parentheses and the curly brackets are the two really essential parts of a conditional statement. If you put the condition part in the parentheses, if you do your homework, then you put the video game inside the curly brackets. Oh, I knew that! Really? Really? Yes, really. Anyway, here are some examples of different if statements in different programming languages. Now we're learning different languages? Sort of. Conditional statements are in all programming languages, so we're just looking at examples. But computers speak different languages just like people, ah. or giraffes, or pigs. Right. Let's try a conditional statement. If you're a yellow giraffe, give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> so programmers would say that if the condition is true inside the parentheses, which is, if you're a yellow giraffe, then we get to do a high five. And the high five part is the code that is going to execute. <gasps> execute? Uh, don't worry about that. <laughs> execute isn't as bad as it sounds. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> it just means that if the condition is true, then the code in the curly brackets will actually run. Ah. But what if you're not a yellow giraffe? That's a good question. Let's try to add some code to see what happens if you're not a yellow giraffe. All right. Now it says, if you're a yellow giraffe, give me a high five, else give me a low five. Else? I've heard people say, or else, but only when I'm in trouble. That's right, what do you think they mean? Do this or else you're in trouble. So in programming, <laughs> that's called an if-else statement, and programmers use it all the time in their code. And let's try it again. Let's oh. see, let's play a game. You're gonna write your own conditional statement. The conditional statement has to be either something that's true or false, and then decide what to do if it's true or false. All right. I'm done. If you're a yellow giraffe, give pig $5 right now. I don't want to do that. Very smart program, but I think giraffe's off the hook because it looks like there's something wrong with your code. What? Really? Oh no. Well, it looks like you have a syntax error, which means that something like a curly bracket or a parentheses or some, something's missing or something's extra in the code because the program, the computer, isn't going to run it unless it's perfect. I see. everything is in the right place. That ah. sounds hard. Yeah, it's hard, but don't worry because the computer will tell you usually what's wrong and oh. give you an error message like this. Ah, it looks like you're missing a parentheses. Psh, whatever. Well, it's important that you close that parentheses because otherwise the computer doesn't know when your conditional statement ends. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Okay, here's my code. It says, if the show is over, give me a hug. Is the show over? All right. Aw. Wait, I've got another one. Okay. If the show is over, give Pig five dollars. <laughs> nice try. So, if you want to try this at home, you can check out our show page for more examples and suggestions. And send me five dollars. And send Pig $5, please. <laughs>